Okay, in this video we've got a Pilchard trolling rig from Sunco Scoots and Tough Terminal Tackle. Lovely pink chin weight in there to help attract the bite a bit more when the trolling's a bit tough. So what we've got here is actually a little slimy mackerel, but it's perfect Pilchard size, so I've kind of gone with that rather than a Pilchard because I had it on hand. And what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to show you how to rig it upside down instead of rigging it through the soft belly, which pilchards and slimies notoriously get. And if we rig it up upside down, it's a lot harder down through the back of the fish. So it's already pretty flexible and they've got soft skin. The last thing you want to do is bust the skin open by playing with it. Now, what we do is we line it up so that the metal spike on the toe point goes through basically between his nostrils on the top of his head and down out through the gap between the gills on the bottom. We line the hooks up with where they're going to go through the back. That's only a two hook rig. It's two 60 eagle claws on there that are extremely sharp tarpon hooks but you can also sharpen them as they've got a bevel edge on them which is pretty much standard with most of our uh, towing, trolling dead bait rigs is run eagle claw hooks that can be sharpened so the rigs can be used over and over even if you catch a few fish on them. So now that we've lined that up, we'll go through the centre of the back line of the fish. Make sure you don't plough it into the backbone, otherwise it'll make it very hard. And set that loosely into the top of the back as well. Technically it's not a chin weight then, it's a forehead weight, but we'll go with that. We shall then put the wire through, out through the bottom like that. Should be enough to reach, you don't need to get too many wraps on it, you just need enough to get pressure on there so it toes from that and doesn't doesn't break the fish apart. Slide down the skirt. It's a smaller skirt on these ones because the baits you're trolling are a lot smaller and if you have a big skirt on it, it comes down to here, you might as well just be trolling the skirt. There's no point trolling the bait. On small baits like this, I tend to find that even though you've rigged it up well, they're flexible, they have a tendency to spin. The reason they spin is because they've got this little thing on the back called the tail. Now this is one of the commercial secrets that we do. You get your knife and you chop that off, throw it over the side, and now that'll swim 100% better than what it would as if it had that tail on there. And it doesn't take anything away from the fish because I can assure you when they hit it traveling at 20 knots feeding, they will not go, that fish doesn't have a tail on it, I better not hit it. So. Trolling these baits you can troll for between two and I found I can troll them up to around about eight knots when you rig them up upside down in the back. And depending on the size of the weight that you have on there for your hook, depends on how fast you can go so they don't pull up out of the water and skip across the top. And also the, low, the slower you troll, the lower in the water column that these will get. And these ones I'm pretty sure are around that 38 gram roughly sort of weight, uh, which trolled at about four to six knots will get you down about two meters roughly and the slower you go the deeper it'll get and obviously the further back you set them in your spread the deeper they'll go as well so that's just a quick easy one to catch everything from tailor spotties big spaniards wahoo all those sort of pelagic fish even tuna will smash them just give you a look from the other side of what it looks like so that back hooks nice and loose in there and one of those are guaranteed to at least get interest anyway. You should get the bite, but if no one else has got decent trolling baits, I guarantee you you'll be a lot better than them. So good luck guys, give that a go. And give us feedback, we'd love to see some.